Hi, this is Trace HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our July 2022 tarot reading. And this will be for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers the highest good of all. Beginning of the month, I'll take a card from the top. Middle of the month, I'm going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, I'm going to take a card from the bottom. Okay, let's see what we have here, Libra. We start out the month with the worlds. So something is coming to an, a, com a completion. And you are feeling on top of the world. Okay, so you've achieved something. You're feeling very satisfied. You're feeling like you've had a victory, that you've been successful, that you've been triumphant. Okay, you accomplished a goal that you had set for yourself and you're feeling delighted, you know, with this achievement. I mean, this is one of the best cards of the deck. I mean, this is feel literally feeling on top of the world, feeling very successful and that you, you know, emerged victorious and that you accomplished whatever goal that you were working towards. You're going to feel a great sense of accomplishment in the beginning of July. And then in the middle of July, we have the Five of Wands, okay? And Five of Wands, this energy that's coming up in the middle of the month, is that of petty squabbling, conflict, arguments, competition. And isn't that the truth? You know, we would hope that everyone in this world would be happy for our achievements, especially when we work so hard for them, but you're going to run into somebody in the middle of the month. It's just going to try to drag you into the drama. Okay. It's maybe somebody you're going to have a difference of opinion with, you know, and it's going to be something petty. You just don't want to let yourself get dragged into, you know, some type of power struggle or some type of, of competition in the middle of the month. You know, that's just how it is. You know, we, we've all been there where, you know, we've achieved something, we're happy, we're excited, and then here comes somebody to, you know, pee on our parade, so to say. So just be on the lookout for someone who's going to try to start, you know, some type of petty argument or petty drama in the middle of the month. And then at the end of the month, we have the King of Wands. Now, this could be a male or female. I don't consider these cards gender specific. This could be someone you're dealing with at the end of the month, or this could be the energy that you're taking on. Uh, the King of Wands is a risk taker. He's an entrepreneur. He's a very enthusiastic king. He's very, you know, freedom loving. However, he does get very bored very easily. Um, this is the kind of energy that, you know, you want to take on. Okay, you know, so if you're going to maybe become an entrepreneur, this is the green light. You know, this is the king that you want on your side. This is the energy that you want because this king is the kind that's full of creative ideas and enthusiasm. And I have a feeling that that's the energy that you're going to be feeling at the end of the month. That you're not going to be afraid to take a risk. Okay, and, you know, you're going to be able to, you know, go about your work and, and do what needs to get done. Um, so this is a very, very exciting energy at the end of the month. So if you're thinking of beginning some kind of project, maybe opening a business, starting something, a startup, uh, this is wonderful energy at the end of the month. Wow, what an interesting month for you. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.